Greetings, so humans. I'm Andy, and I'm George. And welcome back to the Middle of Parties. Penny. Penny. What? It's knocking at Heaven's Gate. I'm assuming Penny went to Heaven. Why? So this is Liar, a song we never heard before, and we're gonna hear it first in the official live version from Knocking at Heaven's Gate. SpongeBob Scrub and Pants on Fire. Liar, SpongeBob Square Pants on Fire. Yes. I also wanna say in the thumbnail, Miyako is playing a Stratocaster, which is not her, her usual PRS. I think usually she's got a PRS, which is better than PMS. Are you ready? No. I'm very proud of that one, though. Congratulations, you shouldn't. Absolutely no sense. <laughs>
Yes. We're finding some really nice songs with these new lives. Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. The intro was not what anyone was expecting. The intro wasn't actually part of the song. It was a thing that got interrupted by the song. That's how you put it? Yes. You're wrong. No, I'm right. I'm right. No, I'm right and you're wrong. No, no, because I'm right, and if I'm right, you can possibly be right. So you're right and I'm wrong? Yes. No, because I'm right and you're wrong. But that would imply that I'm wrong, and that's also not possible. Never mind. Okay, so I have a whole theory about that solo. Hit me. You know what it's like when two people argue, yes. and one of them says something, mm -hmm. and the other person just brushes it over, so the first person gets, ang gets frustrated and says the same thing again, and then just keeps repeating the same idea, yeah. hoping that the other person will eventually give in? That's what that solo was like, because Miyako was playing at the part at the end, the duo, because Miyako was playing the same theme, and then Midori was coming with a little lead, and then and Miyako was doing that same theme again, and then Midori was coming with a different lead, and so on. So it's like, I'll give an argument, I'll give an argument, I'll say my point, I'll give an argument, I say the same point, I'll give another argument, I say the same point, I say, I give another argument, I say the same point, but higher! Yeah, but and also, louder. at the end, Midori did the same theme as well, so I'm, I'm guessing Miyako eventually convinced her. Just by sheer power of repeating the same argument. Yes, she had an unshakable argument. Let's talk about the other solo. It was a, a, a good soul. Yes, it was it a very was good. <laughs> it was That's a very all good I got, solo. man. It was a, it was a very good solo. I like how it started off more melodic and spaced out, mm -hmm. and it it's also when the drums kind of cleared out a bit. So it was very in the forefront, just the solo. Mm -hmm. A lot of the times when they do their solo sections and they go shreddy, you still have the whole band going full throttle. But here, the fact that the band kind of laid back. Soundwise and also on stage and she went in the middle and had the lights on her doing that solo made it stand out a lot more And then the band came back in when they switched to triplets. Yeah, that was a really beautiful take on that solo uh, You mentioned the lights and I want to point out a, a very cool thing. They were doing at some point Yeah, the the spotlight was taking turns on them in sync with the kick drum from yeah. Aruna. That was really cool The production stuff in this show keeps surprising us uh, and overall, very kind of Iron Maiden power battle, pow, yeah, power ballad style. The guitars, the they're way more articulate on their guitars than I am with speech. Yes. And that's weird because speech is easier than guitars. Yes. Um, there was a moment, I think after the first solo section, but before the second one somewhere where they, both of them just did like this really fast power metal-ish harmonized lead that actually had a Dragon Force feel. Because Dragon Force do this thing where you have two guitars playing at the same time really fast and it gives this like crazy guitar choir sort of effect where they're both yelling really fast yes. and really loud. It's like <laughs> guitar rapping. Yelling really fast. Yes. Yeah, they're guitar Eminem-ing. Yes. Um, which is also cool because they're Eminem. <laughs> Are you a dad? No! Did you knock someone up and I didn't know about it? No! Then what's up with these jokes? I like dad jokes. I have a dad. He actually doesn't do dad jokes, which is why I do them myself. Yeah, we're overcompensating for the lack of dad jokes. Yes. Some people are traumatized by having abusive or neglectful parents. We're traumatized by the lack of dad jokes. You know, some people are, are traumatized by the overpresence of dad jokes. No, I need my dad jokes. Yeah, we need our dad jokes. Um... 
On the verse, I think on the second part of the verse, because I think they split it into two different instrumental parts as well, you have one guitar doing chords and one guitar doing a guitar lead melody and then the bass doing kind of this typical power metal uh, and then and then goes up for a run and then goes back on the pummeling mm-hmm. and then go back uh, up for a run and goes back on the pummeling so every instrument is doing something else and I really like how they did that because a lot of the times in generic power metal and heavy metal and also a lot of the times in Love Bite songs you get all three instruments kind of going in unison that's really cool for the powerful effect but it doesn't diversify a lot when you do this thing where every instrument does something else then you hear the whole band yeah it's really nice. I yeah. like it. Also, Haruna was doing the stick spinny things in that one. Stick spinny things? Yes. The stick spinny things. Like spinny things that you do with sticks when you spin sticks by doing stick spinny things. That stick to me. Ask me if we're done here. No. Ask me if we're done here. Are we done here? We're done here. So if you enjoyed this reaction, we greatly appreciate the likes and shares. And if you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe with bells on. Thank you very much for stopping by. We hope you enjoy your stay and we'd love to see you back at the new very soon. Cross it out.